Hello and welcome to my series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. If you like this series, please consider clicking on the like button and also check out other things on our YouTube page, such as our live streaming of our Sunday morning Bible studies, as well as our Sunday morning worship services. And on Sunday evenings at 6 p.m., you can also get our services conducted by our minister, Mark. So in this series, we do a focus on a psalm, and we're going to focus on a single psalm today. And to enjoy this psalm, as we may enjoy songs or poetry, to bring us some peace of mind. My point is not to explain to you what the psalm is about, but to give you some impressions and also to invite you to meditate upon it yourself, to find your own ways of meditation. Think about meditation is a way of rigorously using your mind to think upon something again and again and again until it resonates with so much more meaning. So before we look at a psalm, let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and to feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm that I want to look at today is the first psalm, Psalm 1. And look how it begins. Blessed is the man. If you look up the word blessed, it means to be divinely or supremely favored. Isn't that what we want, to be favored by God? And also to be blissfully happy or contented. That's what meditation should bring us. And it begins telling us things not to do. They parallel together some things that we should not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, stand in the paths of sinners, to sit in the seat of the scornful. These are things we should not do, but look at what it says is what we should get out of being a person who looks at the word. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. There's our word meditation to meditate day and night. What does that involve doing? Well, as I said, meditation involves a lot of intense mind work. We do not simply recite. We, we ponder. We, at those moments of reflection that we have in our days and our nonstop daily lives that many of us have, to, to stop and reflect upon things, to get out of our daily duties and to look at these laws. Let them saturate us. So look at the metaphor he uses for that. We, the man who does this, who is blessed with this, becomes a tree. He's like a tree. How do trees grow? Trees grow slowly. But when they grow, they're tall, they're durable. And look where this tree is, planted by a river. Always to get that drink. And not to wither. Trees do take a while to wither and it would takes a lot but if this is set to the waters aren't the waters this meditation this this word this law of god so we grow slow and the fruit comes in its season if you think of trees trees take a few years to grow in season and i think that's what we're getting at here is that the fruition of who we become comes in some time, but it requires us meditating day and night. Like these waters you drink, in a great time you will bear fruit and will come into fruition. And what is the alternative? Well, those who don't have this, they're like the chaff. And you know, a lot of us in our urban worlds do not totally understand chaff, but chaff is the stuff that gets driven away, the, the useless part of the grain that, that is blown away by the wind. And that's what happens to our 
earthly world. So let's remember that and keep some of those things and, and use this psalm to realize that we need to drink in and meditate these words constantly. I hope this were given you some ways to think about these and I hope to bring you some more thoughts on a few more psalms that we go into next. Thank you and God bless you.